Well, it appears that the time has come once more. The plans for the upcoming banners in Genshin Impact have changed quite a bit, especially with the new regional banner which is being added by MiHoYo in version 4.5. Anyway, I wanted to give you a heads up so you can plan your pulls with the limited Primo gems we'll be getting. And, hopefully, you will have enough Primo gems for your favorite characters. Now, before we start, here is a calendar. If you're curious about when each patch is dropping, keep in mind that the dates might undergo some changes based on whether MiHoYo decides to delay or shorten a patch. Now, let's start with the update 4.5. As you already know, Chiyori will be the new character that will be introduced in this patch. We already saw her drip market, and oh boy does her burst look good. Must be one of the best looking bursts I've ever seen in my opinion. If you're interested in seeing her burst or gameplay, just search it on Twitter or X. You will find her gameplay there. Can't post it as you know. But anyway, alongside Chiyori will be Ito's rerun. This guy needs that rerun. It's been a while since we last saw him, plus he just had an event in version 4.3, and there are a lot of players waiting for his banner. You can expect him to rerun alongside Chiori in the first phase of version 4.5. For the second phase, expect Kazuha and Nouvellet. I know the cells of this banner will go crazy, but come on. It's Nouvellet and Kazuha who are rerunning. As I mentioned in my previous video, thanks to HXG Deluc, who is a trusted source, provided us with this data. It's quite believable, especially for Nouvellet. Listen, it's pretty obvious that Mihoyo follows some patterns. One of them is, new characters get a rerun before a new region. There is one exceptional though, which is Baiju. So seeing Nouvellet return won't be a big surprise. For Kazuha, he usually reruns during the last patches of a region. So him rerunning now is a big surprise. I heard he is involved in one of the events in version 4.5. Not really sure though. There will be a new banner introduced in this patch. It's called Regional Banner. Basically, it will feature characters and probably their weapons from a specific region. Version 4.5 will introduce Mondstadt Regional Banner. My guess is it has something to do with the main event. Since we're getting a Mondstadt event, we will also get Mondstadt Banner. But that's just my take. If you didn't watch my previous video, I will try to explain it quickly. One of the reliable leaker confirmed a new banner which will be added in 4.5, and that banner being a regional banner, basically featuring characters from a specific region. Think of it like this. In the 4.5 Phase 1, we will have two main banners featuring Chiyori and Ido. Now, picture they add a new banner called the Mondstadt Regional Banner, so you can still choose Chiyori and Ito in the main event banners. But as an extra, there's this new banner that spotlights characters from Mondstadt. It's like having the regular main event banners, but now you have an extra option with characters from Mondstadt, understood? I hope so. But anyway, now for version 4.6. The long-awaited character, Arlequino, will be introduced as a playable character. I know almost everyone is waiting for her, plus you can expect her gameplay in the next version, right after 4.5 is live. Alongside Arlequino will be Alhytham. Alhytham, one of the best DPS units in the game, will rerun alongside Arlequino in version 4.6. I mean, 4.6 will have a Sumeru event, I think it's Sumeru Festival event or something, but I'm not really sure. He is one of the characters who is involved in this event, plus has a huge plot related, so him rerunning in this patch is not a surprise. Expect him and Arlequino to rerun in the first phase. For the second phase, Furina will finally get her rerun. I mean, come on, it's obvious now. Archons rerun four patches after their initial release. Plus, Furina is getting a new story quest in this version. The character who might rerun alongside Furina is either Sino or Nilu. Listen, Sino is rumored to get a new story quest in version 4.6, so I don't know if he might rerun in this patch. For Nilu, she has the same logic applied to Alhatham. She is also involved in this event, plus has a huge plot related, so expect one of them to rerun in this patch. For the regional banner which will be in this patch is said to be Liwei's regional banner. So expect characters like Hu Tao, Ganyu, Shenhei, Yilan, and etc. For everyone who bought their skin, they can finally get them in this update. I'm not sure whether this rumor is true or not though. My guess is, since we're getting a Sumeru event, we should also expect Sumeru regional banner. So characters like Nilu or Sino can get a banner here. But that's just my take. But anyway, for version 4.7, there will be two new characters which will be introduced. Clorinde, 
a 5-star Electro Sword user and Sig Win, a 4-star Hydro character. Her weapon is still unknown, sadly. I don't know why Mahoyo is releasing them this late, even though they were one of the first characters we met in Fontaine. A lot of players are waiting for them, especially for Clorinde, which is definitely not a surprise. I mean, come on, almost the whole community is waiting for her. And Mahoyo knows that. Such a sneaky little rat. But anyway, Clorinda will be the new 5-star, and Sigwin will be the new 4-star. For the reruns you can expect, Liney, Ruthsley, and Kokomi. It's not so surprising to see Liney and Ruthsley rerun. As I said before, Mihoyo follows a lot of patterns, and one of them being rerunning characters before a new region. So before we go to Natlan aka the Pyro region, the new characters who are released in 4.x update will first rerun in this region. For the regional banner which will be featured in this update, we're not sure. I heard some rumors about Inazuma Festival in this patch, but come on, it's way too early to believe that. But yeah, keep that in mind. If they feature Inazuma regional banner, we can expect characters like Ayato, Ayaka, Yoimiya, Kazuha, and etc. Inazuma regional banner is such an OP banner. But let's see how things go for this patch. Oh, also there will be another new 4-star character that might be introduced in this patch, or in version 4.6, so do keep that in mind. Now moving on to the last patch of Fontaine, version 4.8, we will not see any new characters in this update. All the characters who will be featured are reruns, so the characters who will get banners in this patch are Navia, Jianyun, Klee, and Wanderer. For Navia and Xianyun, yeah, I already explained it before, they will rerun before Natlan. And for Wanderer. I heard he is involved in an event in this patch, or he is getting a new story quest. I'm not sure, a lot of people are saying otherwise. Some are saying he is getting a new story quest, while others are saying he is involved in one of the events in this patch. It's a bit confusing, but just note that he might be in this patch. I hope he appears in the summer event in this patch, there might be a summer event since Klee is getting a rerun here, but who knows? Things might go otherwise, and let's hope it doesn't. The summer events are so fun to play. For the regional banner, which we might see in this version is unknown, like zero info about the regional banner. There might be no regional banner in this version, honestly, since it's the last version and we usually get summer events. I would have said Mondstadt regional banner, but we're getting one in the upcoming version, so I don't really know. So these are all the updates to the 4.5 till 4.8 banners roadmap. I hope you found this video helpful, and hopefully you will be able to plan your pulls smartly. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so since I usually post videos related to banners and more. Also, do let me know what you think about it and who you are pulling for in the comments below. Until next time.